Welcome back to Vampire. It's time to finally head to the Ascalon Club and go meet Lord Redgrave. Now there's a lot of new people around here because I haven't been to this area. Well, not Avery Cork, but that person. I think there's some other people that I saw before. As much as I want to go talk with them, let's just get this Ascalon Club thing out of the way because it's been kind of hanging over my head for a while. The heart of British vampire society. Not quite as subtle as I expected. Oh, it's this place. But yeah, I haven't I've avoided this really this entire area, so it's quite a bit of new stuff around here. At least three new people to talk with. Do you know where you are standing right now? In front of the Ascalon Club, I presume. The Ascalon Club only summons or ostracizes. What is your business tonight? I received an invitation. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. Welcome to the Ascalon Club, then, Dr. Reed. Please proceed. There's Lord a... Redgrave is waiting on you upstairs. There's a bunch of Prewin guards in here. So what we heard talking with um, Lady Ashbury, they were saying that the Ascalon Club was probably not going to attack the Guard of Prewin, like specifically go after them and wage a war against them, since Prewin were basically waging war against us, especially with the hunt that they've initiated. Which I'm sure is still true, it's just, I guess, probably the Guards of Prewin try to come in here as part of their hunt. So if they get this close, they have to be taken out. Quite a scuffle. Also, that prick at the door really sets the mood for this place. Remember also Lady Ashbury saying one of the things I need to remember is pay them respect to the Ascalon Club. They have an incredible amount of power. And I was wondering if I could be very, very rude to them. Well, a person at the front door is really annoying. I hate them already. I kind of want to be a prick to the Ascalon Club. It's probably a terrible idea. There has been quite a battle here. I'm sure the Ascalon Club has the money to replace the furniture. Yes, I don't think they want for anything. They're obviously very rich. No. Oh. No. And we're back. It's such a fancy place. Even more fancy than any of the mansions that I've been to so far. Been to the Reed Mansion and the La uh, Lady Ashbury Mansion. This one is more regal, somehow. I cannot enter. History and Purpose of the Ascalon Club The Ascalon Club is an association of gentlemen secretly aiming for the protection of the Crown's interests. I founded it in 1837 to honor and perpetuate the legacy of my maker, William Marshall, 1st Earl of Pembroke, and true protector of England. All the members of the club must be of good extraction and flawless moral fiber. Since the club accepts mortal members, will be duly observed and valued as proper candidates for immortality, the goal of the club is to impose respectable traditions and behaviors amongst the good vampire society, but also to promote and expand the imperial hegemony of England. We are the true elite of British society. We are Ascalon, the holy lands held by St. George's. George's? George's? Must be George's, right? Protector of England, when the saint slew the dragon, as lance bearers ourselves, we vow to defend the Empire's interests. From the Law of Ascalon by Lord Redgrave, Founder. God, I just want to be a dick to Redgrave. I just want to be a total dick to these stuffy assholes. Oh look, another picture of my father. They were very popular. Whoa. 
good dagger. Hold on, how does that compare to other stuff? And do I not already have one? Good dagger. Oh, this is... Yeah, so the only other dagger I have was Giselle's dagger. Level 3, 10 blood absorption. Hmm. Doesn't seem very good. It has the same blood absorption as Giselle's dagger, but it's a level higher. That doesn't bode well. Neither of them have any upgrades either, so it's not like that's what's making it... making the difference. Good evening. My good friends, if I may have your attention. Behold our visitor, the good Dr. Reed. Newborn of blood so pure and strong that even my friend Fergal Bansher was no match for him. Hear, hear, hear! hear. Come forward, young Ekon, for we have so much to discuss. Welcome to the Ascalon Club, Dr. Reed. I am Lord Redgrave, Earl of Bristol and Chairman of this exclusive association. Lord Redgrave. At last we meet. I've been eager to make your acquaintance. I've heard some astounding things about you. Please accept my condolences for your loss, Dr. Reed. Thank you, my lord. Lady Ashbury expressed your wish to meet me. Yes. The lady has always been a useful acquaintance, though not always reliable. Is she a good friend of yours? Okay, before I answer, I just want to observe something that we saw coming in here. It looks like they are, are, or at least at some point recently, were paying respects to somebody, I'm guessing, somebody who was killed during the vampire hunts. Maybe not the vampire hunts that are just going on right now, but like the past ones, maybe Lord Redgrave's master, uh, maker, something like that. Somebody very important, obviously, is being kind of worshipped here because there's a urn of, I assume, ashes and then a bunch of flowers around it. So, my relationship to Lady Ashbury. Hmm. I worry that if I let on that I'm close friends with Ashbury, they'll consider Ashbury a very good way to get to me. Like, if they want to hurt me, they can hurt them. So, let's put on a bit of a facade for them. I'll just, I'll make them think that I'm just cunning and calculating and cold and don't really care. She has proved to be helpful on many occasions. Hmm. The centuries have taught me never to trust a woman completely, especially if she is immortal. Too prone to emotions, if you ask me. Too fickle when it comes to important decisions. My lord, do not expect me to speak ill of Lady Ashbury. Of course not, and I praise your loyalty. Would you offer the same fidelity to the Empire? What do you mean? I speak of this skull plague that threatens London and the country. You have been on the front line in the East End. But the time has come to open up a second front here. The epidemic has escaped the quarantine. You have new cases of the outbreak. We don't know for certain. But we cannot allow the disease to threaten the prominent heads of Great Britain. So gotta remember what Ashbury told us. See, they want something for me and they have basically unlimited power. The best thing I can do is try to find where our goals align and go for that. Where our goals align is we both want to stop the plague. So, try to find a way to do that, I guess. Why are you suddenly so friendly? The last time I met one of yours, he tried to kill me. Are you referring to Fergal? He was the most useful of servants, but he was just a servant. You, on the other hand, Doctor, proved yourself much more worthy. You want me to find possible sources of the outbreak in the West End. Is that it? Ah, 
straight to the point, like all eager newborns. We shall have time to talk about all this, Dr. Reed, but first, I should like to get to know you better. Talk? Is that the only reason you asked me here? Well, no. I also wanted to meet the intriguing Ekon who made such a powerful progeny of his sister. You have not learned the name of your maker, am I correct? Hmm, so basically I can two different ways say fuck off or just answer honestly. I'll hold my tongue. No, I haven't. Have no embarrassment, Dr. Reed. We all make mistakes. But whatever your lineage, you are definitely Ascalon material. What do you mean? I would like you to become a member of the Ascalon Club and to serve me as such. It looks like I have to. Before I accept, I have so many questions. Please ask. What does it mean to be a member of the Ascalon Club? It means that you swear to protect the interests of the Crown. That you become a loyal servant of the British Empire. Do you have any official recognition from the government? A charter from His Majesty the King? No. Of course, the Ascalon Club publicly supports the Empire, but the true nature of its members remains a secret. I probably shouldn't ask am I supposed to obey. Kind of tips my hand that I'm intending to, I don't know, maybe betray them? Possibly? It's certainly a possibility. I don't have any specific plans to right now, but I'm definitely not going to obey if our goals become unaligned. What is the Ascalon Club's express? Purpose. We follow the credo of William Marshall, the greatest knight who ever lived. As was he, we are sworn to protect the British Empire. Maybe that's William Marshall in the urn back there? William Marshall founded the Ascalon Club. Not exactly. William Marshall granted me immortality, and I founded the club a few years later. The good knight has been gone for so long. What does Ascalon mean? Ascalon was the lance wielded by St. George, glorious patron saint of England when he slew the dragon. And like that lance, we pierce the hearts of all our nation's enemies. It's kind of a funny connection. The lance that killed the dragon and then remember those bits of lore that we read near the beginning of the game about something about dragons. There is some mention of, of dragons related to vampires, I think. I need to go back and read that, because I don't remember much of it. There's some sort of a connection there, I think. I killed Fergal, who claimed to be one of yours, sent to cleanse the East End of all Skulls. Will his death be an issue? Do not worry. My priorities have changed. Fergal was a zealous servant of mine, but like any servant, he had his limitations and is readily replaced if necessary. I guess that's it. I agree to join the club. This is good news. Good news indeed in these crucial times. Let's inform the assembly formally and proceed with your initiation. My initiation? Fear not. Nothing fancy nor dangerous. It is just that we, the members of Ascalon, believe that tradition and custom are the backbone of this country. Do I have to eat the ashes or something? My fellow members, dear friends, please gather and welcome this Ekon as one of our own. Is he worthy? Is his blood pure? Well, speak, Dr. Reed, in front of the most sacred blood. The blood of our beloved William Marshall. Speak now. Will you serve and protect the crown as he did? Yes, I will. Then, young Ekon, it is time to testify with your blood. It is time to sign the Book of Allegiance. I know it's awfully gothic and a tad pedantic, but England's traditions are the backbone of our nation.
Mm. <laughs> yeah, go right for the wrist there. Mm, that's fucking nice. Ew. Mm, delightful. Welcome to the Ascalon Club, Dr. Reed. Take your place among the bearers of the lance. One of us! One of us! Did Jonathan have to go for the I wrist? Went I'm super grossed out by that. It's kind of ironic, I guess, that I've played so long in Vampire without having much of a problem with anything, but I actually do have issues with blood making me faint sometimes. Nothing that's happened so far has been particularly bad, it just depends on the context, but that whole puncturing the wrist thing? Ugh. I'm like shaking my hand right now just because I'm picturing my own wrist and the. Anyway, let's forget about that. And I spotted at least two foreign echoes. This is an outrage. We shall chase these intruders down. I was chased by a gigantic Valkon two nights ago. I thought it was Fergal coming back, but no. That creature barely spoke English. Hutchinson, Finney, Hammersley, Sheffield, and Unknown. I'm curious why they don't have a name. They seem very old. Much more old than these other people. I wonder if they're one of the humans that's hoping to become immortal. They must be, otherwise they probably wouldn't need to use a cane, right? I know the vampires don't age, but I'm assuming it also re, like, basically heals you. So if you have any issues, like, you know, you need to use a cane, it probably would cure that. Restore you to a healthy state, even if you don't look younger. Oh, I can't even talk with them. I can talk with them. Good evening, Dr. Reed. How does it feel to be this evening's centerpiece? Figuratively. Aloysius. Oh, that's where I've heard the name before. Aloysius Dawson, the Dawson factory founder or whatever. So they're hoping to become immortal. I feel perfectly fine. Do I have cause for concern? Do not be alarmed. The Ascalon Club has a tried and tested policy for choosing its initiates. May I ask who you are, sir? Why would you be interested? Well, as you seem to be the only man in the room with a beating heart, you draw quite a bit of attention yourself. Ah, vampire senses never cease to fascinate me. They dwarf those of mere mortals. I am Aloysius Dawson, by the way. Are you not afraid? You are surrounded by vampires. Sir, it's for that very reason that I joined the club in the first place. Is not the nature of this club a secret shared by only a privileged few? My dear Dr. Reed, I have spent years and a fortune precisely to gather that kind of information. Are you a member of the club? Yes, I am. And I have been for many years. And will be until the day I die. Are you sick? Personally, I consider my advancing years are a sickness in itself. My body is slowly abandoning me, Dr. Reed. What can you tell me about Lord Redgrave? I would not dare speak of our chairman without his consent. Mr. Dawson. Of Dawson and Dawson. The wealthiest man in England. It is a pleasure to meet such a prominent figure of London. A withering London figurehead, to be precise. Are you sick, Mr. Dawson? I am a doctor, you know. My case is beyond the scope of traditional medicine. I have spent fortunes on the world's most competent doctors to arrive at that diagnostic conclusion. I'm sorry to hear that, sir. Should I suppose that you're here in search of some form of immortality? Absolutely not. I'm here to implement my plan to save the city I was born in. To cast out the ghastly evil that has us all on our knees. 
They're not after immortality? I find that hard to believe. What do you know about the God of Prewin? I should not say this, but I admire their commitment. This is what the nation needs right now. Would you help them? No. There is a time for such methods. But brute force will not be enough to fight this plague. We have to think differently. What is the situation like in this part of town? I am sure Lord Redgrave will enlighten you more effectively than I. Money cannot solve every problem. This mysterious epidemic is going to require more than money can buy. You're right. Money is nothing unless one has the will to wield it. I have a plan, sir. A radical one that will save all that is essential in London. What is your plan, then? Quarantine and barricades are futile. What we need is a wall. A formidable, unscalable wall to isolate the deserving from the infected masses. Well, that sounds disturbingly familiar. We've had lots of walls over the course of history. They haven't been a good thing. Hmm. What do I tell them? Blow smoke up their ass? Just say, yeah, great, nice, whatever. Complete isolation has proven effective throughout history, but the death toll has always been a high one. I am glad you understand the concept of necessary sacrifice. Are you not mistaking sacrifice for summary execution? Why do you care? Are you not a vampire? Removed from all mortal concerns. Decisiveness is what the city needs, and it needs it now. Is it even practical to build such a wall in such a time period before the plague, you know, runs its course? I mean, such construction would take at least months, wouldn't it? At least months, possibly years. That went well, did it not? It is always useful to bolster the troops' morale, especially before a difficult battle. You have the makings of a general, my lord. I was, though very long ago. Well, not quite a general, but a proud defender of the crown. So why did you really want to meet me? Straight to the point again, young Ekon. All right, let's talk, you and I, Lance Sparrow. I'm listening. According to my spies, you have worked with Dr. Edgar Swansea on the epidemic, and your findings were quite alarming. Do you know Edgar Swansea? Not personally, but I've been told he has some sort of immortal fetish <laughs> and is a good friend of yours. Does it bother you that I consider him my good friend? As long as you reveal nothing of the club's inner workings, why should I forbid you engaging in conversation with the good Dr. Swansea? You were spying on me? There's no point in asking that. Of course they were. They're spying on everybody. Yes, I'm convinced the recent invasion of frenzied scowls in London is directly linked to the epidemic. This is not the Spanish flu, but something else. I would be glad to hear more of your discoveries, Dr. Reed. But for now, my main concern is the security of London's inhabitants, both mortal and immortal. What do you mean? Alarmed by the epidemic, the Guard of Prewen has started a war against us British vampires. To appease the situation, we must eradicate the skulls. Ooh, this is a tough one. Okay, so again, I remember the promise I made to old Bridget. Don't let anybody know that they exist. I'm assuming saying some skulls are peaceful would be letting them know that they exist, right? But then there's Sean Hampton. I mean, well, I mean, they weren't peaceful for long. Hmm. I, f I really want to be super careful. I don't know if it mattered that I accidentally told... Was it Lady Ashbury? Or Swansea? About um, Bridget? But I definitely don't want to tell Lord, Lord Redgrave about them, so... Let's go with this. 
Scars are hostile vectors of contagion. That is a fact. But first and foremost, they are victims. I agree, Dr. Reed. Most of the new Scals who roam the streets at night used to be good British citizens. But they must be put down nevertheless. So, what do you want me to do? I want you to investigate the city thoroughly. I have reason to fear there are cases of contagion in this part of town. Our absolute priority is to find and cleanse them. And how would you like me to proceed? By all means necessary, Dr. Reed. You are now a member of the Ascalon Club and you have carte blanche. Interrogate the locals, follow all the leads you find, and get results. Ooh. Oh, I thought we were going to have a conversation with that have you heard the bloody demon thing. Some horned vampire revealing himself and singing obscure songs around the city. What is this new malevolence? Horned vampire singing obscure songs around the city? Appearing to people? Is that the blood demon that's been talking to me? They do have horns. Skulls have been spotted everywhere in London. We are losing this fight. Oh, they're drinking blood. Oh, one quick thing I want to check. Let's look at everybody's eyes. Okay, so creepy. Creepy. Mmm, creepy. 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 Very creepy. Okay, so every single person in this club who's a vampire has weird reddish eyes. How come Lady Ashbury doesn't? I hope there's actually a good explanation for that. And it's not just that the game designers wanted her to be very pretty. I think that's everything, except there was one room that I didn't go inside of. Right here. Just a bunch of loot in that room. Alright, well, I think we're done with the Ascalon Club for now. And I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode, so I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I'm going to explore more of this area around the Ascalon Club in the West End, speak with all these people that I've never spoken to before. I think Lord Redgrave just suggested I was sired by an ancient vampire. Indeed. I feel like we've already known that for a while. But anyway, yeah, come back. I'll uh, talk to all these people that we haven't spoken with before and ask them about a possible source of the infection in the West End. 